Hi DIYers, this is Michael from Alarm Grid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade a Honeywell Lyric to LTE. Now uh, the reason you will be upgrading a Lyric to LTE, it's either you're adding cellular communication for the system, or you're upgrading from an old 3G or CDMA communicator. Um, the 3G and CDMA sunset is coming soon, so um, proactively upgrading to LTE is a smart decision. Um, you don't want to wait till the last minute because a lot of people will be trying to upgrade all at once and not everyone will be able to be fit in. So doing this early is recommended. And with LTE, um, the LTE networks are expected to be kept in service for a very, very long time. So you're, you are future-proofing your system by doing this. Um, now the benefits to uh, adding cellular communication, because the Lyric already has Wi-Fi connectivity, but um, as, as you may know, internet outages are fairly common, so adding a cellular backup will keep your panel online uh, during an internet outage. So uh, this is the recommended uh, communication path. Uh, we call this dual path communication, using both um, cellular and Wi-Fi. Um, you have two paths, dual path. Um, so uh, you have two LTE options available. Uh, we have here uh, the Lyric LTE-A. Uh, this is the AT&T LTE communicator and it needs a firmware version MR3 or higher. And there's also a Verizon model uh, called the Lyric LTE-V that requires firmware version MR9 or higher. Uh, we don't have the Lyric LTE-V here, just the Lyric LTE-A, but uh, they're installed in the same process. They, they look pretty much identical. Uh, you will see a different model name uh, on the sticker, but um, other than that, they're, they're essentially the same. Um, if you do need to do a firmware update for your panel before um, upgrading uh, to uh, LTE, then what you can do is, is you can actually activate the system on Wi-Fi first, uh, get the update, and then activate on cellular. Um, you, you only need to do that if it's needed. If you're already on a high enough firmware ver version to support um, the LTE module that you're using, then you can just go ahead and activate on cellular and then update the firmware as needed. But if you do need to update on Wi-Fi first, that is an option. Now it's very important that you contact your monitoring company before you go and install the LTE communicator. Um, they, they might have some information needed for you, they might need to do some things on their end, but always contact your monitoring company first before you do this. Um, so if you're monitored with Alarm Grid, then contact us first. Or if you're planning to get with us first, um, contact us first. Okay, so that covers everything I needed to tell you first, so um, let's get into this. So we are at the main screen of our Lyric system. And we're going to choose security, we're going to choose tools, and then we're going to enter in our master code, which is the main arming and disarming code. Um, so we're going to enter one, two, three, um, I actually uh, missed the two there, so I'll start from the beginning. One, one, <laughs> one, <laughs> two, three, four. Only took me a few tries there, but we got it into the proper menu. Um, so then we're going to choose advanced. And then we're going to choose Install Cellular Module. And just to show you that you want to use the master code, the main arming and disarming code, um, and not your installer code like you would normally use, I'm going to show you that real quick. Um, normally we would click Yes right here and begin the process, but I'm just going to show you everything. Um, so if I were to enter in my installer code here, which ours is at the default of 4112, then I would get to the wrong menu. So I want to make sure I'm using my master code, which is the main arm disarming code. And we have ours at the default. You usually change yours, but we have ours. One, two, three, four. Hey, I got it on the first try this time. Great. So then we choose advanced. And then we choose install cell module. And we're going to choose yes, we want to install the cell module. And then it's going to give us some instructions on the screen. Now you do have the option as well to power down the system completely before doing this. Um, to do that, you would unplug the transformer from the wallet LED or unplug the barrel connection if you're using an LT cable to cut AC power to the system. Don't disconnect the wires at the panel. Um, either do the, the transformer or the LT cable, or even uh, if you have a circuit breaker, of course you have a circuit breaker, and then uh, cut power at the circuit breaker is also an option. And then you actually have to open up the panel and disconnect the backup battery. Um, so that's another way to do this. Uh, don't install the cell module while your system is powered on or not in this mode, um, this mode here, because um, otherwise you will damage your system or the cellular communicator. Uh, what we're doing here uh, with this install cellular module mode, it cuts power to um, the, the cell module so it can safely be removed and added um, as needed. And also it stops the tamper cover, the side tamper cover that we're going to 
um, open up in a second, it stops the system from chiming during that. Um, otherwise, you get an annoying beep, 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 and we don't want that. So um, this is what we do uh, to uh, before installing the cell module to do it safely. Um, OK, so um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to press, well, I'm not going to press OK right now. It says complete these steps, then press OK. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So uh, we're facing the Lyric system right now. And on the right side, when you're facing the Lyric, you'll have the cell module slot. All you have to do is push up and then pull out. Um, you see it's right where the, the silver part um, meets, the, meets the front of the panel there. So we can put this aside for now. And we have our old communicator in here. This is a 3G communicator that we're replacing. Um, so what we need to do uh, first, if you have a set screw in there, which you might, um, it's in the back there, um, you, you need to remove that first. Um, you, it's the same size set screw that can be used at the bottom of the Lyric. Um, so if maybe you swapped them out or something, but um, it's a good idea to, to place it in there to not lose it. It is an optional screw, so we're not using it in, in this case. Um, we don't have one installed. Um, you see we're just going to easily pull ours out, but if you find that yours is not able to be removed, then it's likely you need to remove that set screw in there. Um, so what we can do, we can just kind of get our fingernail under there and pull out the, the blue tab, and then we can just pull um, I like to use both hands, I guess, and uh, um, it, we can pull it right out. So this is the old communicator that we no longer need. And just to point it out, um, that's where the screw will go, right there if you want to use it. Um, but we're not going to use it. Like I said, it's an optional screw. So you just align it in place. I just want to see where I'm getting going in there, and then there. So we have it um, in, and then we can just slide it in and click it into place, just like that. Now we have the cellular communicator installed. And so we just need to put this uh, cover back on. Just put it into the holes. It's lined up, and then we push down. And it snaps into place, and it's nice and secured. So uh, we've successfully installed the communicator, the new LTE communicator. And we've closed the side slot. Um, so now we can press OK. And it's going to take a little bit to detect the radio. Um, we'll, we'll wait through that real quick. Um, if you are looking for a monitoring company to uh, activate with, then AlarmGrid happens to be a great option. Um, you can contact us via phone or email. Um, our phone number is 888-818-7728, and our email is support at alarmgrid.com. And just as a reminder for our, our business hours, they are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you're following Eastern Time, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. Again, that's 888-818-7728 and support at alarmgrid.com uh, for contact. So uh, this is still taking a few minutes here. Um, we'll wait for this to finish. So we have successfully installed our radio. We'll press OK. And then we can just uh, back out to the main screen with the home button there. So uh, we're at the main screen of our Lyric, and we're good to go. So now would be the time when we contact our monitoring company, hopefully AlarmGrid. 888-818-7728, support at alarmgrid.com. Um, OK, so if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. And feel free to call us or email us if you have any questions about the Lyric, the LTEA, the Lyric LTEA, or the Lyric LTEV. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.